How you doing, YouTube? Matt Matt's beer reviews. Back with yet another review. A little bit of Ohio jams. Hopeful goodness. Ohio jams in the form of Crooked Pecker. It is their Rocket Snacks. This comes courtesy of my boy Jared. He actually tossed a bunch of OHIO beers my way. Let's see how the sucker lands. I think this is the one of two of these guys from out Ohio way. We'll see how this one lands. Yeah, I kind of think this label design. I'll show you in a sec. It's pretty Pretty pretty. Um, yeah, 8.5% Imperial IPA. Uh, Craig Becker, uh, from Chagrin. Oh, that's, I love the word Chagrin. Um, no date in the can. And it's just kind of like a weird, kind of like, I don't know, metal mylar baggy kind of thing going on in the background. I can kind of dig it. I don't know how they got away with the government warning on this. You're kind of adhered to at a specific font size and Invisibility, and that is definitely not legal. <laughs> so hopefully they don't get in trouble. With that. It's beer; they play, you know, hard and fast to rules in beer nowadays. But yeah, she looks like a big old hazy, nice kind of rich orange glow. It's not too dark, but it's a little darker than what you come to expect from one of these new school super hazy New England style IPAs. Kind of, kind of a lacy, kind of uh, pillowy kind of edge to the beer with this kind of creamy, kind of sort of sleepy mattress, mattress kind of top to her. She looks delectable. Let's get a nose. Yeah, I mean, it really leads the way with this command. Kind of soft, danky, almost getting into that scallion the onion kind of dankiness. So it's definitely, at least aromatically, driven by this green thing that is danky, funky. It's not like filth floor and filth funk, but it wants to be there. It has this soft little ranky onion scallion -y thing I love so much. I don't get it so much in beer anymore. Uh, so when I get it, it kind of makes me a little bit kind of hot and bothered. Yeah, other on the other side of that, I'm sure there's some kind of soft fruitiness and stuff like that that will actually get in the taste, but it really is dominated by that ranky dankiness. It's not a two by four in the face, but it's much bigger than all the other components. Let's dive in. Cheers. I like this beer. 8.5. Drinks appropriately 8.5. It's not like super aggressive. But you have this kind of heft. It's not heat, but you can kind of tell there's there's a little bit of warming going on. There's a little bit of alcohol to this. It is all about this ranky danky thing. It definitely leans heavily into like more like garlic than onion kind of thing, which I rarely get, especially nowadays that I kind of really appreciate. Mm. Super soft, creamy, fluffy mouthfeel. There's this really nice kind of over over ripening mango, tropical fruit melon thing. That's on the opposite of the special. It's much smaller than that ranky green portion of your shell, but it's there and it's full and it's rich. It's not overly sweetened, but it's over ripened. So it's got this kind of richness to it without being overly sweet. Kind of an oxymoron there, but I think you guys know what I'm talking about. But with that ranky thing being much bigger, that sweetness doesn't come off nearly as big as you think it would, uh, perceptionally at least. I really like this beer. I really like this. This is like, oh, this is me mugging, you know? You know, there's like, God, how do I, how do I put this? You know, there's like hip hop, but then there's like kind of a little bit of like, you know, there's, you know, there's rap and then there's hip hop, two markedly different genres of music. And then within hip hop, obviously, you have your subdivisions and genres and there's, you know, all different kinds of hip hop. There's like intellectual, you know what I mean? There's there's really just kind of like, you know, there's just plain street talk kind of stuff. Then there's like mean mugging, like Wu Tang, fucking even to the point where like fucking gangstar fucking like just nah, gangstar's not intellectual, but you know what I'm talking about. This is the mean mugging stuff. This is just filth. It, it's the filth foreign filth that I was talking about that I didn't get on the nose, but it's absolutely there in the taste. I love it. Here's the thing though. This is where maybe bias or even more, I don't want to call it recency bias, but it's the old, you know, you're on a desert island, you get off, you eat a cracker, it's the best cracker you ever had in your life. No crackers aren't that amazing. I'm not going to sit here and say I might not be lured into the allure of this kind of beer because there are few and far between. It's a flavor profile I really do enjoy, 
and I rarely get it. So when I do get it, I tend to lean very heavily into loving it. Um, so I might be a little bit biased here, um, but guess what? It's not called everybody's beer reviews. It's not called, not Matt New Beer Reviews, it's called Massive Beer Reviews, it's my thing. So I talk about how I feel about it. So and the reason why that matters, the reason why it makes sense to me, is because if your palate or your taste, or your whatever you want to call it, um, follow mine, then you know this is going to make you very, very happy because it's going to give you all those ranky danky fun things they enjoy so much, they get so little. Let's talk about it. Is this one of the better ranky danky? No. <laughs> this is one of the better Imperial IPAs I've had. I was like, yeah, it's kind of up there, like really, really up there. Kind of wants to be. Um, it wants to be Mount Rushmore status. I think the only reason that this keeps itself out of that is because it's so singular in that one side of the Ranky Dinky. I would like a little just bump of something on the other end, just for a little bit of back and forth. I think that would raise it to Mount Rushmore status, but it's damn fucking close, to put it that way. And it's not so much that this not deserving of that. This is, there's so many great versions of hazies nowadays. You can't put them all up there. Really good fucking beer. Value availability. I didn't even talk about it. I mean, it's really just rank dankiness with that subtle, overripe, and not overly sweet and tropical fruit the other end of things. That's all there is. I had a fucking this end of the eight minute video because I was gushing over rankiness. Anyway, um, value availability. Let me know what's what, Jared, and leave you with if you like what we like this beer. If you like that filth, baby. You like those onions. You like those scallions. You like that garlic. You like that funk. You like that. You like this. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Massive. If you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed your review. Hopefully you're enjoying a little bit of filth right now. Hopefully see you next time. Cheers.